In the previous video, we were finally able to convert our selected paragraph into the test info, which contained the information about each letter, whether it is correct, incorrect, or not attempted. In this video, we are finally going to make our test letter component and render all the letters to the screen according to their colors. So before we go on, let's check whether we are getting the correct test info. Simply, we are going to do a console.log test info and let's save it. Let's check it out in our console. Let's refresh the page. Yes, we are getting the correct information. This should be good enough. So now what I'm going to do is just to test things out that is containing the correct information and we are able to display it on the screen. I will map over the test info array and display the letters inside a div. So this is going to be super easy, just as we do always a simple map function. So for now, let's just comment out the selected paragraph. So after we comment out, this should disappear and it did. So let's open the curly braces and let's iterate over the test info using our map helper inside our map helper what i'm going to do is i am going to pick out individual letter info from the test info so test info just a reminder test info is an uber object which will contain the information about each letter so now i am going to extract out the individual letter info outside and then i am going to return a simple div along with let's close this div first and inside this div the information will be individual letter info dot let's see what was the name let's quickly go back to app.js and the name was test letter dot test letter individual letter info dot test letter and now this should do the thing yes it did my name is mother so yes, this should be fine enough for now because we are rendering a div here. So now let's jump on to creating our final, final component for this application. As always, I am going to create a new folder inside my components directory. I'm going to name it test letter and I'm going to create a JSX file and a CSS file inside my test letter. Inside the JSX file, I am going to import React. And I'm going to make a simple functional component and name it test letter. So this test letter is going to take in a simple prop object, which is going to be the individual letter info. So that individual letter info will not only be the letter itself, but also the status of that particular letter, which is correct, incorrect, or not attempted so let's quickly do that I am going to take individual letter info and inside that let's quickly return a span so as you know div is div contain takes in the whole uh, space it has but span is an inline thing so yes that's some simple HTML concept let's do a test letter and inside a test letter let us quickly do individual letter info dot test letter and this should be good enough for now at least and let's try to use it inside our typing challenge so inside our typing challenge instead of rendering the div what i'm going to do is i am going to give use the i am going to use the test letter so let's call it from inside here test letter and it needs a prop named individual letter info and i'm just going to pass this individual letter info here this should be good enough and as you can see my name is madhav it appeared on the screen perfectly so now we have this half ready let's style it though let's give some simple simple stylings the simple stylings for this will contain the colors and all those things but for now let's focus on font size and all those things as well so uh, let me copy this name test letter from inside here 
and let me have a font size of at least I think 19 pixels should be good enough and a line height of 19 pixels as well. So now we need to also paint it with the right color. To do that, very simple. What I'm going to do here is either I could have used a, a lot of if conditions like if status is equal to equal to correct, then do this. If status is incorrect, then do this. If it's not attempted, then do this. For example, let me pick out the status first. Const status um, equal to individual letter info. So this is again ES6 destructuring. Or in case you don't understand, let me let me put it very simple in very simple way. So what happens here is status is equal to dot status. So as you already know that individual letter info is nothing but the individual array element of this test letter. This contains the test letter and the status. So whenever we see things like this status is equal to individual letter info dot status, we can simply remove this and simply put it inside the curly braces. So this is something related to JavaScript, not React.js, but yes. So for now, what we can do is we can put an if statement and say that if status equal to equal to, um, let's say, correct, then uh, do this. If it's incorrect, then do this and that and so on. So let me tell you one simple example for this as well. So what I'm going to do is we need to have a different class name for each individual status. Why? Because for let's say correct, I will have a class name of correct test letter and corresponding to that, I will paint it with a yellow color. If I have the, or maybe a green color, if I have an incorrect one, I'm going to name it as incorrect test letter and I'm going to paint it with red. If I have a not attempted, I am going to have a not attempted test letter and I'm going to select it from my style sheet and paint, paint it yellow. So how can we do that? Very simple. So let's uh, say let uh, status class something like that and we are not initializing it and what I'm doing here is I am going to do a simple if it's correct then status class uh, equal to let's say test letter correct simple else if status triple equals to let's say incorrect then what I'm going to do is status class as incorrect simple I think there's no uh, difficulties in understanding this and else we know there are only three cases correct incorrect and not attempted in case of not attempted I am going to give it as not attempted so there is one better way of writing this particular syntax I'm going to tell that very soon but yes first let's try it out let's try out doing this so what I'm going to do here is I am just going to use my curly braces here instead of this thing just so that I am able to use my variables inside it and I am going to give test letter test letter is going to be the common class and depending on the status class I am going to give this status class as well so this is very very simple right and according to this status class I am going to give it some colors inside my style sheet which is test letter dot css so let's say let's start with correct okay let's start with correct so the correct one is going to have a greenish color so let's give it a 558p2f this should be good enough for the incorrect one i'm going to have a red color a sort of a reddish shade and i am going to give it let's say bf3 and 60 C. This should be good enough. And for not attempted as well, let's give it a orangish yellow color. So these colors are completely up to you. You can give it any color you want. I've just decided some random colors. So F9 A 825 should be good enough. This seems good. And now let's just do one final thing. Let's import our style sheets dot slash test letter dot css and now you're going to see the magic my name is Madhav. it looks super duper cool but now before ending this video just one final thing whenever you see these things that your status can have only one value out of let's say four or five values let me tell you what we are going to do 
So instead of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define another variable or a constant. For example, I'm going to say it as status class name and I'm going to define it as firstly, I'm going to implement a sort of uh, a dictionary, a sort of uh, JavaScript object where I'm going to put correct equal to the value of correct is going to be test letter correct. Just hang on with me and you will in you will clearly understand what I'm trying to do for incorrect. I am going to put it as incorrect and for not attempted. I'm going to give it as test letter not attempted. So what is this? Basically, it's a simple key value pair. It's a simple just look just forget about the left hand side. Just look at the right hand side for now. So this right hand side is just a dictionary, a key value pair. And now we are going to call the dictionary and give one key to find out the value. So for example, I am just going to put in the status inside it. We know the status can be only correct or incorrect or not attempted. So if status has only these three values, then it's going to fall in this case. And let's say if it has correct, then it's going to give out test letter correct. If it's not attempted, it's going to give out this one. And now we do not need all this stuff. And I am damn sure that this is going to work. So yes, let's save and nothing changed. Nothing changed and this is awesome. This means that our code worked. So this was how we built the test letter. And from the next video onwards, we are going to start implementing our logic. We are going to start implementing what happens when we type here and how to change the colors as soon as we type. So I am super duper excited about the next video. See you in the next video. Bye bye. And don't forget to share these videos with your friends as well. Bye.